How's it going, guys? It is 3.12 a.m., 2nd of May here in Japan. We've got a passable question for farm for step one. Very basic, very easy. Okay, so nothing dramatic. Just going to hop hop through some high yield points. Don't waste our time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melon underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel. Down below, now start the clip. 31-year-old woman, three-month history of rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so we have symmetric bilateral hand, wrist, knee pain, and antibody titers are positive. I was intentionally vague here. Obviously, ANA would be positive. It's non-specific. Rheumatoid factor, which is an IgM antibody against the FC region of IgG. You need to know that. And then anticyclic citrullinated peptide, anti-CCP, is actually the most specific antibody for RA. So in addition to medical management, medical management means medication as opposed to surgical management. So in addition to medical management of the patient's symptoms, the most appropriate initial recommendation for slowing progression of the patient's disease bears which of the following mechanisms of action. Slightly verbose question here. So what you need to know, and I said it's past level, albeit this point's a little bit tricky, is that the management of RA, there's two arms of therapy. We've got the symptom, the symptom arm, where we give NSAIDs followed by steroids. That's symptoms only, does not slow slash alter disease progression. Then we have the DMARDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, which slow disease progression. So let's just hop through the answers here. What are we going to do for our first line, DMARD? Should I say guanine N7-alkylation versus cyclophosphamide? Wrong fucking answer. So it's to my observation across NBME material that when we talk about hard-hitting aminosuppressants, e.g. cyclophosphamide, azathioprine, 6 mercaptopurine mycophenolate, mofetil, etc., you assimilate tends not to give a fuck, and they tend to be wrong when they're listed. As far as when, as far as which drug should we use next, if you see one of those agents, they tend to be wrong. What they might ask sometimes, however, is just simply a mechanism of action. Okay, that's not unheard of. So guanine and 7 alkylation, okay, that's the mechanism of action of cyclophosphamide. You do need to know cyclophosphamide causes hemorrhagic cystitis. There's a toxic metabolite called acrolein, which can damage bladder epithelium, so you can get red urine. You can give mesna to help mitigate slash prevent the toxicity. Mesna has a thiol group. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, inhibition of dihydrofolate reductase, correct answer, refers to methotrexate. Not dramatic, okay? You need to know that most of the time. The first line, DMARD for RA, is simply methotrexate. And then if methotrexate doesn't work in some patients, so there's an overt contraindication, such as lung disease, because methotrexate can cause pulmonary fibrosis, patient has severe hepatic disease, can cause hepatotoxicity, then you can in theory, start with a TNF-alpha blocker, okay? But for most patients, most patients, okay? We start with methotrexate. If insufficient, we add an anti-TNF-alpha agent, not substitute. Methotrexate first as the DMARD, then we add an anti-TNF-alpha agent next. That's how it is most of the time. So obviously, quickly tangential, you've got pyrimethamine and trimethoprim, with all, which also inhibit dihydrofolate reductase. U.S. simply doesn't really give a fuck. Just quickly whipping through the final answer choice here. Should I see inhibition of diger or te dehydrogenase? Wrong fucking answer. First to leflunamide. Maybe once tops I've ever seen it assessed. Students get maniacal over weird sounding shit. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D inhibition of soluble TNF alpha. Wrong fucking answer. So as I already said, we start methotrexate. Then we will add an anti TNF alpha agent. Now, infliximab, adalimumab, those are the two monoclonal antibodies that are high yield that target soluble TNF-alpha, not TNF-alpha receptor, okay? And then you've got etanercept, which is the odd one out, which etanercept is a recombinant TNF-alpha receptor that will mop up soluble TNF-alpha, okay? So those are the three anti-TNF-alpha agents you need to know, infliximab, adalimumab, which are monoclonal antibodies, and then etanercept, which is a recombinant receptor. But first line, DMARD for RA is methotrexate, then we add an anti-TNF-alpha agent. But when we talk about treating symptoms only, we use NSAIDs first, followed by steroids. Steroids can sometimes be described as a bridging agent prior to starting a DMARD, but they do not alter disease progression. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.